This is a minor update on the passive solar greenhouse after what was a pretty intense last night. Uh, Sasha and I had a hard time sleeping for half the night. The wind was so intense outside, uh, 30 mile per hour plus gusts shook the house, rattled the windows. Uh, it was down around 20 degrees last night, but with heavy driving wind and snow. Even this morning, it was blustery. And in this space, there certainly was a little crust of ice on the soil, but only about a quarter inch or so, very, very faint crust. And I looked at the data from this little data logger, and it reached a low of uh, 29.8 Fahrenheit last night. So 30 degrees at soil line. That's really what I'm most interested in is What's the temperature for little seedling plants? And so 30 degrees with no driving winds in here, 20 degrees, although maybe even a little colder up here on the north facing slope, 1200 foot elevation that we are with driving gale force <laughs> winds, uh, really pleased with that. And we still, uh, anticipating this uh, intensity of weather last night by looking at what the predictions were and then what the next few days are, I put some energy and focused on at least roughly buttoning up these huge corners. I think this space would be a lot colder if I hadn't done that. But there's still some, in the scheme of things, some pretty significant gaps in there. I'm not sure how well it reads in the video, but all sorts of little technical issues along the top that I need to figure out how to pack and deal with but we got enough done in time that it seems as though the thermal mass of this bed, and again from the last video I was roughly calculating that this bed, I filled a lot more soil in here, should weigh somewhere around 3,400 pounds. And so yesterday, early in the day, it was around 40 degrees and a tiny bit of sun, and that's probably enough to bring the temperature up on this to hold it overnight. Now we're going to go into a handful of days with, you know, highs around 15, driving winds, lows around 10. I feel like the battery, so to speak, of this soil will be depleted. But yeah, it's overall, it seems to be performing well. And it's giving me incentive here to really focus on these gaps. You know, get this, get this finalized. I've got the little gap around the door, which I plan on putting some either leather or some sort of pads, scrap material, felt. Uh, something like that, cobbing up these corners, very rough sketch, uh, rapid design iteration sort of thing. Along the top here, I took um, dumpstered plastic and some, it actually looks like fiberglass, but that's just the color of the wool from my friend Gunther's sheep. He had some uncleaned wool, and so I just laid out, basically made wool plastic burritos and stapled them shut and packed them into those gaps. And of course, there's still little gaps in there. We'll get wool in there. It's a little ugly, but I think just to get us through this first winter, I'm happy just to get it moved along so we can learn more about the big picture systems. Um, but so far, so good. 10 degrees warmer at soil line in here with enough gaps that snow snuck in. So still a lot more work to be done. And one other adjustment is with the compost ring outside, um, I wrapped it all in leftover dumpstered plastic and used uh, ground pins to uh, pin the plastic down and put a board across the top to really focus the heat coming out. And I think if we get enough snow, I'll bank it up against this on all the sides to insulate it. And we'll see how that goes. A little temperature probe in there. It's really not taking off just yet. I think I need to add more nitrogen, which luckily I have readily available in liquid form many times a day, so we'll deal with that. But it's around 45, so 25 degrees warmer in the compost than outside, but it's certainly not, you know, 80, 90 degrees. Anyway, that was meant to be a short update, a little longer than I thought, but the soil is mainly in here. We're going to fill a little more on this side. Still really have to figure out what this all looks like. Do folks have some suggestions of resources on very low power consumption, DC fans, solar rigs, all that, that they want to share? That would help me understand how to approach this. But in a few days, it's supposed to be sunny and brutally cold. I'm interested to see if I can get fans rigged up to soak up that sun and put it 
deep in this bed. Um, so lots more to be done. Made a little table, so that's fun. Anyway, going on long enough. That's the quick update after a really intensely <laughs> windy enough. The nice thing is snow shows me where all the gaps are that I have to work on, and we've got enough old wool to get us through this winter and come up with a more elegant solution later. But standing in here now, it's comfortable. Outside, I want to get out of that weather real quick. Um, but I've got today, the rest of the day, we'll be going out with a post hole digger and digging through the ice and snow to set locust posts for uh, Shisandra and hops trellises. So that ought to be fun. <laughs> Hope you're warm wherever you are. Have a good day.